Nigeria's youth population has been said to be strong enough to achieve political change, with a plethora of challenges preventing their involvement in governance. Pastor of Trinity House Church, Ituai Godalo, has organized an online discussion to pave a way forward. Usaogi Ogboa tells us more. In the build-up to Nigeria's next general elections, conversations have begun on the way towards more youth involvement in the electoral process. This was the focus of Pastor Itua Igodalo's virtual conference on the 8th of April, bringing together a group of Nigerians to discuss strategies for better youth involvement. With about 60% of Nigeria's youth population below the age of 35, the importance of young Nigerians cannot be overemphasized. Pastor Igodalu and the guest speaker, Farouk Olaranwaju Abbas, a legal practitioner and managing partner at Abdul Salam Abbas & Co., spoke extensively on the importance and challenges of young Nigerians and involvement in governance. I think the youth form a very, very interesting and uh, 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 energetic and necessary group of people that we must take on as we move into 2023. And 2023 is of particular importance to me because one is getting to the twilight of one's life and one would like to see a very outstanding Nigeria before we are forced to, to sign off. If you have this very large demography of um individuals in the country and you don't involve them in the governance of that country or in the politics of that country, it goes without saying that there's going to be a breakdown of law and order. And this is the reason why we had the NSAS protest. All the participants also shared their ideas on strategies to adopt in the build-up to the 2023 elections. So strategically, if you do not divide the politicians, you're not going to rule them. Obama did that in America. Macron did that in France. The first thing we need to look at is the level of poverty in this country. Until we address the poverty level, we'll keep on having that problem. I mean, how can somebody be given 1,000 naira to sell his or her own rights to vote for someone that is not even qualified? But the Nigeria of today is totally changed. And the composition of the youths in Nigeria is totally, you know, fractured now. So to me, it appears that what the youths need to do in Nigeria is to have some kind of concerted, you know, forum or organization, you know, to create awareness uh, right down to the grass, grass uh, roots. Yeah. Nigeria's youth population, as it struggles with political awareness and the high cost of elections, has an uphill task and little time to change this narrative. Osaogi Ogbonwa. Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.